again. Paul? Franz? What happened here? What happened? As it seems, someone's activated the tower beneath our feet. Normally, Hykros will only start channeling energy into this tower in winter, when the shelter's energy supply runs low. But today... Don't worry, Paul. It may just be a glitch or error in the distribution grid. That's simple. No, no, no. It's just my guess. I'll have to ask those old geriatrics about what actually happened, of course. Hmm. So it's Hykros again. I never bought into their whole saving the world spiel. Hmm. And that's why it's so hard for you to make friends, Paul. Hey, newbie. How about... Me? Truth be told, I don't trust him. Well, all right. We shall go to Hykros and get to the bottom of this. It's also a great chance to see the rest of the world. Selene still needs my help at the shelter, so we'll be waiting to hear back from you. Relax, Paul. I'll take care of our new friends here. I'll activate a space rift straight to Hykros, but it only allows one person to go through at a time. You go ahead. I'll be right behind you. Don't worry. I've sent word to the administrators at Hykros. They know you're coming. Astra Shelter, area code HT501. Log, Mia enters High Cross territory for the first time and engaging information exchange with other smart servants. Welcome, young one. I'm Klima, commander of the District 9 Executors. Franz informed us about why you came here. 
Unfortunately, we don't have much information about the abnormal energy flows of the Astra Omnium Tower. Everyone at the shelter is worried. Could it be a mechanical malfunction? The heirs of Ida tampered with the energy transmission program. It's causing the five Omnium Towers to send their stored energy back to the Central Tower. The Central Tower has a finite storage capacity. Exceeding it could dangerously overload the system. As a safety precaution, we had to vent excess energy to the surface at the cost of causing a certain degree of radiation damage. This is not a permanent solution. Franz submitted a report detailing that you triggered momentary space-time distortions during combat. Is that true? Yes. Time would sometimes flow extremely slowly around me. We call this phenomenon Fantasia. It's a human-generated temporal distortion in a localized area. It's usually an ability only exhibited by executors. The Executor Order is an elite unit formed to handle all forms of Omnium disasters. Its members are genetically augmented to possess a certain degree of control over the time dimension. I found info related to you in the Executor Order's database dated half a year back. You and your squad went MIA during an operation. I... I was an Executor? Indeed. However, we still don't know what happened to you during the last six months. But as you can see, we're facing many difficulties. The heirs of Ida are planning something, and the issues with the Omnium Towers need to be resolved urgently. Hycros has limited manpower in District 9 currently. We need your help in dealing with the heirs of Ida. I have reported your situation to Archon Elric in District 9. You should go see him. Welcome to Hycros. I'm Elric, Archon of District 9. Greetings, Archon Elric. Captain Klima has informed me of your situation. I'm delighted to see the return of one of our esteemed executors. Franz said that you lost all your memories upon your rescue. Is that so? Yes. I can't remember anything that happened before then. The report also mentions that you possess excellent combat skills. It looks like you have retained your past training and skills. Which is to say, you can still perform your duties as an executor. I have no doubt. However, a full inspection is still required before you return to active duty. We will log your data and upgrade your suppressor with the latest modules. Understood. I am ready. Are you ready? We're getting along fine.
friends. Are you okay? Me? <laughs> I'm great. How have these geezers been treating you? Franz? Hey, have you told them everything? Not entirely. Same old you. Everything's a secret, yet you still want people to go out on a limb for you. There is no confirmation of what happened to our returned executor. We found an unknown string of virus in their suppressor chip during the inspection. The virus tried to infect the executor's orders database. Thankfully, we found it in time and isolated it. But as soon as it was discovered, it initiated a self-destruct sequence. We did not manage to discover its origins. Oh, is that true? You really lost your memories? We did a full inspection. There is evidence that someone wiped their memories. Aside from that, we find no abnormalities. Elric, could it be that incident from half a year ago? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I will assign someone to get to the bottom of what happened to you. I hope it does not damage the trust between us. Don't catch your breath just yet, Archon. <clears throat> There's still another grave matter at hand. Eason? He's an engineer at the Forward Outpost and has been with us for six years. What about him? What? Eason? How sure are you about this, Franz? I checked the visitors' records. Eason just left the outpost lobby. The security records can show us his most recent route. Let's see what he has been up to. Activating Mimesis. Reconstructing Eason's tracks. going. There might be more than one. We checked all the surveillance records on Eason and didn't find anything else. The lobby should be safe for now. However, we lack eyes on the outside of Hycros's dome. I just received word that the third bomb has been found there. Outside the dome? Do you mean this huge egg thing we're in?
like this is. I need to find him now. Franz, we failed. I used the chrono switch. Failed? You mean, you... Eason planted three explosives in the lobby and on top of the dome. I didn't manage to disarm them all in time. Well, can't get any worse than that. Right? Do you have the location of the explosives? I've uploaded the info to the database. Good. I'll have someone disarm the one in the lobby. You two take care of the one on the dome. Finally, it's over. It's all thanks to you. Not too shabby. Franz, what exactly happened with the Chrono Switch back there? Anyway, we shouldn't talk behind his back like this here. Now that everything's been resolved, I'm not needed here anymore. Don't worry. I'll explain the issues regarding the Omnium Towers to Paul. What about me? You? You have your work cut out for you. Listen, if I were you, I wouldn't trust everything they say. Just make sure you don't disappoint the Archon. You have a bright future ahead of you. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. Go pick it up when you have the time. Head upstairs. You'll know it when you see it. Well then, I'm off. I'll leave you to it. Thank you for everything. You must have a lot of questions. Franz didn't explain it to you? He probably just wanted me to do the heavy lifting. I'm sorry. I am unable to give you the answers right now. And it is not because I do not trust you. You have more than proven yourself in the bomb crisis. The fact of the matter is, time retracement is a sensitive subject and a closely guarded secret even within Hykros. I hope you understand. As for Zeke, Hykros will relay the latest intel to you via Franz and provide whatever assistance we can render. In exchange, I hope that you will help us solve the problems regarding the Omnium Towers and the heirs of Ida. Excellent. I still have matters to deal with in Parliament. So, this is where we part ways. I hope that you can live up to my expectations. I assure you, I will explain everything to you in due course. some bad news. The heirs of Ida seem to be plotting something in the shadows. Was Zeke's choice really worth it? 
Seek is the victim here. We must stop the heirs of Ida's conspiracy. Yes, I promised Hykros that I would help them resolve this crisis. Oh, and Franz said he left me a gift. I wonder what it could be. Cobalt B? Hmm. Who might you be? Franz asked me to pick something up from you. Franz? Yes. I remember now. Here's the Falcon he ordered from Banjus Tech. It's yours now. Falcon? This is... for me? This is the best that the Vehicle Research Department has to offer. I suppose. According to the manual, it runs on pure Omnium, has carbon alloy body and magnetic brakes. 280 horsepower with a torque of 300. Speed up to 230. Oh, just 230? We might be able to increase the engine efficiency by 20% if we tune the transmission a bit. Or, uh, never mind. Well, it's not an easy vehicle to drive. Don't get too cocky before you're familiar with its capabilities. I'll be careful. Thank you, and goodbye. Don't mention it. I happen to have something to do at Hykros anyway, so it was no trouble. Let's test out the Falcon. Gerard, I'm heading back to Astra to find Franz. By order of the Archon, you have been granted permission to use the Hycro Space Rift and are free to enter and exit as you wish. The records show that Franz's last destination was the Astra Space Rift. You might find him there. Safe travels. Oh, you made it. 
I was just explaining the situation to Paul. Hykros wants to shut down the tower, right? Yes. Archon Elric asked us to find a way to shut down the Omnium Tower, but what should we do exactly? Oh, Elric. Leaving such an important job to us. I've checked the internal structure of the Omnium Tower. It's a mess. It'll take some time to rearrange the- Oh, wow, Paul. You know how to stop it? Cut to the chase, Franz. If you have a way, just spit it out. Simply put, we need to find something called Astrum. Have you heard of it? Astrum? What's that? It's a kind of artificial Omnium crystal and a very efficient energy storage medium. We need it to power the cooling system inside the Omnium Tower. But unfortunately, after the Cataclysm, the technology to produce it was lost. It won't be easy to find a complete piece of Astrum. Luckily, I have some friends who deal with things under the counter. They shared some valuable information. There's a fighting competition held around here, and the organizer seems to have put up a piece of Astrum as the reward. A generous prize indeed. So you're saying we should try to win the competition? Well, you know I've said it before. Fighting really isn't my forte, so... Good luck with the Astrum hunting. Leave it to me. I'll win the competition. The joke yesterday was really bad, wasn't it? Come <laughs> on. 